Greetings, it's Ian from RTL here. Welcome to a, another new album review, as we do on Fridays. We've got two today, and we're going to kick off for the new album from a legendary band from UK who had more success in America, Fog Hat. We've already um, mentioned them in the channel. We've done their studio albums. We haven't done their live albums yet. And that is in the plan. Um, there's some great, great band. Uh, there's just it's just great to have them back. Um, now this is their seventeenth album in their long career. Their first in seven years. And one of the f the first song on here is written by the late Kim Simmons from Savoy Brown. So the band for this, obviously it's not the original, but we've got Roger Earl that's been there since 1971. He sort of comes and goes on the drums. Brian Bassett, who's a great guitarist, has been there since 1999. We've got two sort of newish people Rodney O'Quinn on a bass guitar, he's been with the band since 2015, and the newest member on lead vocals and uh, lead guitar from only about 2022, Scott Holt. So, let's have a look at some of these great songs. Again, uh, Kim Simmons was involved in the, this first song, and it's called She's a Little Bit of Everything. What a great little uh, track to open your first album in seven years. Roger Earl's drumming is always great. He's a great shuffle drummer. Very underrated drummer. And a great bass line from this new chap, Rodney. Rodney, great bass. It's just a boogie track. And you just want to put your thing. Scott's, this new singer, sounds great. That's what you need. A bit of boogie rock absolutely killer track uh, second track I don't appreciate you uh, solid blues rock the bass line from this Rodney is a really good bass player absolutely killer track ok the next track is a cover I mean Fogcat do do a lot of covers um, but uh, they always do good versions now this one is Mean Woman, Woman Blues, written for Elvis Presley, and it was formed in the film Loving You, and what a great version of this song. Do it justice. Uh, it's a great song anyway. I mean, Elvis is, is a great version, but this is a really strong cover, and um, I do like it. I think it's fantastic cover. Just what you need to think. Then we have my favourite track on here. Written by the late Kim Simmons, um, called Driving On. Absolutely brilliant. The start of this is so ZZ Top. Tush, that shuffle. Well, John Lee Hooker is a mixture of them, you know, John Lee Hooker, ZZ Top. Killer track. And what a vocal from uh, the new singer. Absolutely nailed it. Scott Holt, fantastic. What a track. It is the best track on the album. Then we have a cover of a, a legendary song written by the one and only Mr. Willie Dixon who wrote so many great tracks for people. And this is Let Me Love You Baby. Absolutely stonking version of it. I just got take. I love it when bands like Fog Hat take these classic blues tracks and bring them up today and still got the love for this song it's a fantastic song oh, I love that song going on from, uh, from great blues players this next one is a cover of a Howling Wolf song how many more years what a version it's a classic blues song um, from Howling Wolf and they do a brilliant version of it Terrific, great playing. Brian Bassett on the guitar. Now I got into trouble about saying about how good he is. He's not, but he's a good guitarist. 
you always get the fa fans that say, oh, it was not the same without like the originals. Well, originals are the pass on, move on. You don't pack up because you've lost a great guitarist. You find a new one. And Brian's a great guitarist. I like him. Does a great job on that song. Then we have another cover. Now this is from uh, from Rodney Crowell. Now this is from his 1978 album, and it's called "Ain't Ain't Living Long Like This." And the song is "Song for Life." Now I do this justice. It's a little bit different from the original, but again, it's a solid cover. If you're going to do a cover, do it properly and give it justice. And they do. Absolutely great version of that song. Let me go back to original songs, and this one is called Wished I'd Been There. Very gentle, one of the gentle songs, a bit of country style on here, country rock, I like this track. After all these rockers, it's nice to have just have a nice gentle track to bring us down a little bit. And then we have Time Slips Away, another co-written song by Kim. Um, even though he's passed on, he's still, I'm still using some of his songs, which is a great tribute to the guy. A great track, nothing wrong with this one, another gentle track, great vocal from Scott, you've got Brian's great guitar, a terrific track. Then we get Black Days and Blue Nights, the drumming from Roger on this just proves he's still a man of, of senior years and he's still cranking out great drum licks. I love this track. Um, let me do it. The, the last two tracks are a couple of um, covers again. The first one from the brilliant BB King and She's Dynamite. This is my favourite cover on this album. Uh, it's, I mean, I love the song anyway, but this is brilliant. Brian's guitar work is absolutely fantastic. I hope it shuts the critics up, but I don't think it's as good. But um, I think it's a damn good version. And ends up with Promised Land, Chuck Berry. Again, it's a really good version. It's got that boogie kick to it. Um, great job. I've heard some really naff versions of this song. Well, even Meatloaf didn't do a very good version of this. But, uh, but this is absolutely out the top drawer. Okay pretty good album so I'm going to look at it in two ways let's look at those original songs first great songs um, as I said Kim's no longer with us but he left some great songs for them to perform and that's great you know this is sort of Kim's last appreciation of the music he loved um, great original songs some great playing Scott this new singer is terrific and the covers, classic songs brought up to date and giving it the fog hat treatment. Goes into the fog hat machine and they've never really done a bad cover in their whole career. Um, I think this is a very good album. Um, I love it. Um, I love this band because to me they're just like Quo in the early days. and. It's a shame they never got love over here as they did in America. So I'm going to give this album an RTO ranking of 8.3. And I just wonder if it'll get mentioned at the album review year at the end of the year. And there's a pretty strong this will get in there somewhere. Um, I just love it's nice to have a brand new sort of boogie rock album. Okay, um, we've still got another new album to do and another legendary band that's had more versions of the band than I've had hot dinners and that is Gong um, their new album so we'll have a look at that very very soon bye for now